Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my 2021 Amazon purchases and whether I'm still using them or what I think of them. So in case you missed part one, I went through basically the first half of the year of 2021, what I purchased from Amazon, and now I'm uh, up to the second half. So I'm just gonna jump right in and tell you what I think of these items and where they are now over a year later. So first thing up is the Fossil Women's 5E 42 millimeter smartwatch. Um, I actually did um, more of a, a full video about this last year when I got it. Uh, I bought it as a Prime Day deal. I'd never really been into smartwatches or really wanted one, but when I got my new cell phone last year, it doesn't really give the same kind of like visual notifications that my old one did. And I sort of missed having like a little bit more of a heads up that there was some notification on my phone. So I like the idea of having a watch just to like buzz me or alert me to certain apps and notifications. So um, I have been now wearing a smartwatch continuously since then for the last basically year and a half. Um, however, I will say this particular smartwatch, I never had a problem with it until just a couple months ago and I don't know what happened, but it got stuck in this loop where it was just constantly restarting itself. There was nothing I could do to stop it. The only thing I could do was let the battery fully die, and then the minute you put it back on the charger, it would just start rebooting itself again. It would basically restart and get to a certain point in rebooting and just kind of sit there and spin. Um, I was reading about it online, and it seemed like that was just like a thing that happens. Um, with this particular model, one of the things I liked about it was there's only one physical button on it. Um, most of the other Fossil smartwatches have three buttons and there's like a hard reboot you can do where you hold down all three. But any tips that I saw about how to reboot the button, the watch was, you know, hold down all three buttons. And I was like, I only have one button. So there was really nothing else I could do. So unfortunately, I kind of just had to let it die. Um, I have since replaced it uh, with a new fossil watch that has three buttons. Um, this is just the next version up. So I'm pretty bummed because there was really nothing else wrong with that one. Uh, and there's not like a huge difference in the newer model. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess I can't really recommend it if this is like something that's gonna happen to it. Now when I got my smartwatch, I also got these little glass screen protectors. And I will say, uh, definitely highly recommend these. I've actually repurchased them several times because I have a bad habit of whacking my wrist into things apparently. And there were many times where I would see a big chunk out of the screen protector or a big, um, you know, crack across it. And thank goodness that wasn't the actual watch face. I am very glad that I had the screen protector. I have gone through several screen protectors now. So, um, definitely recommend recommend them. They're, they're cheap, they're easy to use, and um, is definitely better than whacking your actual watch face on something. Okay, so also I got a number of different fossil watch band straps, or I guess not fossil watch bands. Uh, let me back up. When I bought the watch, it came with, um, it was a, ro it's a rose gold watch, and it came with like a rose gold mesh metal band, uh, which is fine, but I wanted something like a little more sporty, <laughs> a little less formal, uh, something that I could more easily get wet or get sweaty in. So I went through a couple different uh, like silicone bands that said they were for that model watch and either they weren't or, you know, it just didn't work out for some reason. It, it didn't connect right. It wasn't the right size, even though it said it was. So I ended up finally just giving up and going back and getting the actual fossil silicone strap that I probably should have just gotten to begin with. So I definitely recommend this strap. I actually, it's like my main one that I'm still using. Every time I think of maybe switching back to the metal one for a little bit, I'm like, oh, but I'm about to go do blah, 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 and I just wanna have the silicone strap. So um, if I really were doing something formal and, and wanted to wear the watch, I would probably switch it back to the metal one. Um, and the metal mesh band is not uncomfortable, but the silicone one for me is just so much easier. Um, you know, it's soft, it's, you know, again, you can like get it wet, you can sweat in it and clean it easily. Uh, the mesh one is like a little more, you know, it's mesh so that like stuff gets in there. Um, 
I will also say just a heads up between the previous model and the version 6 that I have now they changed the design of the metal mesh band so the one that I had before at this time um, was held together by magnets the new one clips together, kind of like clips and clamps, and it seems a little more secure. But the magnetic one, that was like another reason why I didn't want to always have it because sometimes like the magnet of the band would stick to things or like it would, you know, become un magnetized and stick to something else and your watch could fall off. So um, I do like the design of the new band of the version 6 watch. But anyway, yeah, so just one more reason why I don't always wear the band that it came with and I really do like the silicone replacement band. Okay, so in addition to being the summer of hats, if you recall, last summer was also the summer of jumpsuits. So I think there's a couple jumpsuits in here that I tried. This was the Pretty Garden jumpsuit or romper. Um, I had seen a number of people recommend this. It looks great on them. Um, I got... I think actually this is the color that I returned, but I checked when I was doing my screenshots and they both look identical. So this is the color blue. When I tried it on and I made a whole video about that, it was like bright blue. It was like... Violet goes to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, very blue. My husband said it looked like I was wearing like medical scrubs. So I ended up returning that and swapping it for, I believe they just called it dark blue here, but it was like a little bit more, not navy, but almost like a teal blue, just a little different. It didn't look as much like a uniform. It looked more like you know, you're know, you wearing an outfit. So anyway, the Pretty Garden one I really like. Um, I like that the, the legs have the little bit of like a jogger kind of cuff at the bottom, gives it a little bit more shape. The neckline, you don't have to wear it off your shoulder. In fact, I don't think I ever have. Um, you can just wear it centered and it's just like a very flattering scoop neck. So um, I do really like this one. The one thing that bugs me about all jumpsuits, you'll see this with all of them, they almost always have a pointless little non-functional tie at the waist. And again, this one, I don't think the tie here adjusts anything, but it just adds an extra piece of stuff to your metal. Okay, this is the Sinjimoru silicone phone strap. I've definitely talked about this before. I love it. I'm actually on my second one because the first one broke at the point where it um, comes out of the, the case and kind of, you know, it was always flexing at that point. So it did finally break. It definitely lasted a year, at least a year, probably more than that. Um, but it's just, it's like exactly what I need. Actually, let me grab my phone. It's exactly what I need because my phone is just like a little bit larger than my hand can comfortably hold and use. So just having this little extra thing I can slip my fingers through for support makes such a big difference. Um, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really add any bulk to it. Uh, it doesn't prevent it from wirelessly charging or any of that. It still, you know, it can lay flat, all of that. The only thing is it just adds this little tiny connector piece in the middle where um, where you strap it together. But highly recommend these. I actually just saw a friend who also has a, a band thing on her phone. I hardly ever see anyone using these and I don't know why because it, this to me is like the makes the most sense of all the phone holding options that there are. It doesn't, it's nothing you have to permanently attach to anything. Um, it doesn't add a bunch of bulk. You can still use all the functionality of the phone, all the scanning and charging. So I love this, highly recommend it. I'm on my second one and I would gladly replace it again. Okay, so we come to another jumpsuit or romper. This is Daily Ritual, which I mentioned in my last video, I guess. Um, is one of my favorite like Amazon clothing brands. I really like pretty much everything from them. This is a short sleeve shorts romper. And um, all, uh, up to this point, all of the jumpsuits that I had tried were you know short sleeve or sleeveless with long pants. And I was like, why am I not getting ones with shorts? So I tried these. I also at the same time got a um, long pants sleeveless top version of the same thing. So this is made of like really soft terry fabric. That other one was so nice, but I returned it because there's no zipper or tie or anything at the neck, which is how you have to step into it. And I was like, you're just going to stretch out this neck opening getting into this thing all the time. So I returned that one and I was actually going to return this one as well, but it was so comfortable. I was like, you know what? I'll keep it. And like worst case, if I stretch out the neck, I'll just cut that part off and wear the shorts as shorts. So that was my plan. Um, 
and then I actually wore it out a couple times and so one other thing now that I can tell you about this um, like I said the fabric is super super soft terry so it's sort of like fuzzy inside and if you wear it out on a hot day the little soft fuzzies will attach to any parts of your body that might be sweaty and so when you take off the jumpsuit you might have little black fuzzies all over your sweaty bits so I'll just leave it at that um, it is very comfortable it's again because the material is like a little bit heavier and thicker um, it's not like super cooling um, but it is comfortable it's nice to wear but just keep in mind don't be alarmed when you you know get undressed for the day and find that you're covered with black lint everywhere Okay, so at some point last year, my one of my ankles started swelling up. I'm still not sure why. Um, I feel like it has to do with maybe not, like on days that I don't move as much, although there's also been days where I was walking around all day and my ankle swelled up, so I don't know. But anyway, I thought that I should get something to maybe kind of like roll it out and, um, you know, like help drain and like get things flowing again. So I found this roller, um, and I will say, I don't know if, I don't know if it's like a placebo effect, but it does seem to help. When I have a swollen area, if I do kind of like roll things away from that area, it does, that does seem to be one of the things that helps me. Um, the reviews of this product are very mixed. You can tell some people were like, offered something by the company to make a review, and then some people are giving like honest reviews. My honest review is, it's fine, it's good quality, it's, you know, it doesn't feel flimsy, it squeaks a little bit as it rolls, but it's like plastic on plastic, like what do you expect? I don't have any problems with it, it's certainly not squeaky enough to like stop me from using it, and for what I was looking for, it is fine. So if you trust me and you trust my reviews, I'll recommend this. Um, like I said, it, it worked for what I was looking for, which is kind of more like drainage. Um, this seems to be more for like massage that they're advertising it for, so I don't know about that because I haven't really used it anywhere else on my body other than my feet and legs, but for what I was looking for, it worked fine. Okay, so early, early in the pandemic, I um, mentioned my wireless earbuds that I had been using. They were a brand name and I said how much I liked using these wireless things and I, I use them all the time now um, while I'm doing chores, while I'm going for walks, they were great. They started, well they always kind of disconnected from my phone, you know, for like a period while I was using them and then they would reconnect or sometimes they wouldn't connect right away and I'd have to like restart them a bunch of times. They were always a little bit problematic, but then they started just like one wouldn't work at all. <laughs> they started doing this kind of thing. So I said, you know what? You are getting replaced. So uh, I got this no name brand, Ear Fun. I don't know. It's certainly not as big of a brand name as the other ones that I had been using. Uh, I have been using these now for longer. I have less of a problem with them. They are more comfortable. I have, I don't know, weird shaped ears. I've always had a problem with earbuds or earplugs or anything that like goes inside your ear. These are much more comfortable to me. You can see in the image they have like a little I don't know what you'd call it, not like a wing, but there's like a little piece that sticks up under the fold of your ear, and that's what holds it in, at least that's what helps me hold it in, my weird ears. Um, but they're smaller, they're much more comfortable, and um, they work right away. I've never had a problem with them, so um, I'm super happy with these. I would recommend these by far over the name brand ones that I have been using before. I've been using these for longer, and like I said, I use them like while I'm doing housework, while I'm vacuuming and stuff. That's my catching up on podcast time. Uh, if I'm going for a walk by myself, a lot of times my husband will join me now, so, you know, I won't, <laughs> I don't get to listen to my podcast then when I go for a walk, but if I'm out by myself, that's my time to wear my little earbuds. When I shovel snow in the winter <laughs> is my earbud time. So um, I don't really use it. Well, and I also take phone calls on them and, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, they do work great for all that with the microphone and everything. And, um, and I always ask, like, do I sound okay? And nobody's ever had a problem with me using them for a phone call. Um, I, but I don't use them like all day long for calls for work or anything so I can't speak to them for that but for listening to music or podcasts or something while you're working or walking I've never had a problem with these and they work way better than the ones I had before. 
Okay, so I think the last item of the previous video was a mat that I had intended to use for our side door where we have just like very low clearance and we needed a doormat. That one was still a little too thick and I've always had a problem finding a thin enough doormat for that door. These are thin enough. Um, so it came as a set of two. Um, they're very heavy duty considering their thickness. They have like a nice firm rubber backing and then like a carpeting on top to catch all your dirt and crud. Um, they work great to help stop tracking stuff into the house, which is what I want to use them for. And it is a set of two. So right now we are only using the one at that door, but like I know I have a backup waiting in the wings if, if and when something happens to that one. So um, if you have a door with low clearance, I definitely recommend these. It looks like they also come in different sizes. So if you needed like a bigger, um, a bigger sized one, they have that available as well. It comes in a couple different colors. We got the, um, it's, it says gray. It's a very dark gray, it's almost black. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with these. So if you have something with a low clearance, definitely recommend those doormats. Okay, um, in addition to summer of hats and summer of jumpsuits, last summer was also the summer of sack dresses. I tried several. I'm pretty sure this is the only one that I kept from Amazon. Um, I love that the brand name is Yes No, um, but one of the things that I really liked about this dress compared to a number of the others that I tried is that the straps were adjustable. They, they adjust like bra straps, so um, you could make it, you know, shorter to better, you know, fit on your arms and stuff. Um, I think this also has pockets, which is really nice, and it comes in like a gazillion colors. So while I got basic black for pretty much everything that I ever tried. Um, you could get it in a fun summer color or like a fun print. So um, I definitely wore this to a couple different events and things I can recall in the last you know, the last couple summers. Um, it's really, really lightweight. Like I love wearing it out for like the farmer's market or something like that, um, where you want to feel a little boho. Um, but yeah, it's very light and flowy and great for a hot summer day. Okay, so my laptop um, that I use for editing videos and such, um, I had been keeping in like a neoprene sleeve and turns out uh, cats love scratching neoprene and so they basically like scratched it beyond repair and I figured I should get a different kind of laptop bag. So um, I had, I was looking at a bunch of them and researching a bunch. I ended up going with this one. Uh, Kings Long is the brand and um, I really like these. So actually when I got, this is a, a second computer and I got one of these for this one as well this year. So um, what I like about this is it has the handles you can carry. It also has a strap so you can wear it over your shoulder. It has front pockets, like good sized front pockets so you can keep your, you know, charging cable or a mouse or headphones or whatever other accessories you need. Um, and it's got this little padding inside it so it actually is like protected and padded. Um, very, very nice. Also, the cats do not really like scratching this material. I don't know what it is or why. They love scratching on that neoprene kind of foamy material. This one, they don't really care about. Every once in a while they do scratch on it and it's pretty much impervious to their little scratches, um, but they're just not interested in this, which is great. And it looks nice. Um, I feel like it had come in more color options when I was looking at it before, but I ended up going with the gray just so I wasn't doing black for everything in my life. And um, the other one I got actually was blue. So it comes in a number of different sizes as well for different size laptops. For the 17 inch size, um, you know, it's a little more limited just because it's a larger size and I think people don't, um, it's not as popular of a size. But anyway, really like it. I've been using it now for a while, carry it all over, highly recommend it. Okay, so we have another daily ritual clothing item. This is the Jersey Oversized Fit Short Sleeve Pocket T-shirt dress. Um, this is a really nice t-shirt dress if you're looking for one of those. It definitely is oversized fit. When I first got it, um, you know, I was, I picked the size that I thought I should be. And really, I should have read all the comments that said, you know, size down because the first one was way too big. So I did exchange it for a size down. So definitely size down in this. Um, but it is boxy, like a 
you know a square boxy t-shirt that's the first thing which is nice if you if it's a real hot day and you just want to throw on some kind of moo moo looking thing this is perfect for that but if you want anything where it's like a little bit more flattering of a shape um i actually ended up getting i don't think it's going to be in this review because i got it this year but they also have like a v-neck a little bit more fitted style t-shirt dress that is like a little bit more flattering of a shape but again something for to throw on on a hot day these are great the other thing that i'm not a fan of is the front little chest pocket again it's like a t-shirt dress t-shirts have a little chest pocket i am not a chest pocket fan luckily it does kind of just blend into the overall thing especially in the black color but if I could change one thing about this, I would take off the chest pocket. If I could change two things, I would maybe make the neckline a little bit lower because that high crew neck, even though I'm wearing a, like a higher crew neck right now with this sweater, but it's it's not my favorite neckline. And especially for summer, I maybe would like a little bit lower neck. But other than that, again, it's kind of loose and flowy and boxy and nice to throw on in the summer. Okay, we now come to my very favorite hat from the summer of hats. This is the CC ponytail wide brim floppy messy bun pony hat. So basically the whole deal with this hat is there is a hole in it that your ponytail can come out of or not. You don't have to use the hole. You could wear it like a regular hat. But if you have a ponytail or a bun and you stick it out through the hole, then you don't have to worry about shoving a hat on over all your hair and I have a lot of hair and especially in the summertime I was like as I was trying on these other hats I was like why am I wearing a hat where I can't have my hair up off of my neck while I'm wearing it and so then I started looking for the ones with the holes so actually um you can see in the screenshot it comes with there's a lot of varieties that have things written on it like I don't like you know like bride or vacation or whatever I have just the plain straw hat with the black ribbon I also um I think this year got the black hat with the black ribbon but actually the straw hat one is nice because as you have seen I wear a lot of black dresses and black stuff in the summer and so it's nice to break that up with like a straw hat colored hat and it still has the black band so it pulls everything together um but anyway this has become my very favorite sun hat if i'm going anywhere that i'm wearing a hat i'm probably wearing this one again because it has the option for the ponytail because it has a very nice wide brim um it's lightweight and just easy to carry and actually i kind of like that it has the ponytail hole also because you can sort of like stick your fingers through it and carry it that way or like loop it over so you know hang it on the back of something um using that hole so this is my very very favorite hat if you take nothing else away from this video series this is my favorite sun hat and if you are spending time out in the sun in addition to wearing sunscreen please wear a hat okay this was something that i had seen a lot of youtubers and other people talking about it's the timo hair straightener and if you recall like a couple years ago there was that revlon hair styler thing that everyone was talking about um i did a video about it i hate it i'm pretty sure that it destroyed my hair for a period it like broke off a lot of my hair um so i was a little nervous about this thing this is not like that at all if anything it more replaces your like flat iron straightener um but it's in a comb formation rather than flat so i actually now kind of switch uh, like okay obviously not today but <laughs> when i'm wearing my hair straight i will switch between using a regular flat straightening iron and using this thing um it just kind of depends on how i'm feeling and like i feel like they both work pretty much the same um this will get really really hot um i'm not sure how it compares to like other straighteners but i usually use this there's like five or six heat levels and i usually use it around like level three um it doesn't tell you a temperature in degrees i'm sure it's somewhere in the instructions but so i don't know like what that compares to in temperatures but I usually use the third level and um so because it's a comb i would i think it will work best on you know hair that's not like really curly or um kinky to begin with unless you're doing it in very small sections um 
I usually, when I straighten my hair, do it in kind of bigger chunks. So, uh, just because I'm like lazy about it. So, uh, I have to kind of like be in the right mood to be using the, the comb version. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, it works great and it works just like a regular straightener. So, um, I recommend it if you're in the market for something new like that. Um, I guess maybe it's easier to use if you have a problem with like clamping the flat iron kind of straightener. This might be easier to kind of brush through, but you do kind of use it in the same way as far as like making segments and, um, you know, pulling it through one small section at a time. Okay, next item on here is the Life Wit Double Laundry Hamper with a lid and removable laundry bags. So I got this for in our laundry room. We had previously like a big round hamper that I used for um, towels because I like to wash all the towels together so they don't get their towel lint on everything else. Um, and I was thinking it would be nice to have a second thing for like sheets and microfiber cloths and other things that I don't wash with our regular weekly laundry but I don't want to put with the towels. So I'd already been thinking about a second bin and then the other thing was where we keep it is sort of behind a door and the big round basket kind of prevented the door from you know if we wanted to open and close the door. So anyway I found this rectangular one. It holds basically the same amount as our big round one but it's just a better use of space and it's split into two so we use one side for the towels and one side for bedding, blankets, microfiber cloths, all that sort of stuff. And um, so I never take out the inner um, laundry bags. I see, you know, I see in the picture, you can like lift them out and take them somewhere. For me, they're already in the laundry room, which is great. Um, we also don't use the lid. I keep the lid just like folded back and it's just against the wall. So for me, it fits perfectly and it works perfect. My one complaint about it is the divider between the two sections is just a fabric flap and the um, the inner lining bags don't, there's nothing that like holds them up in their sections. It's hard to explain. I tried writing a review about it and I don't really know how to explain it. But um, basically, you know, like if you were putting like a garbage bag in your trash can, you fold the top edge of the bag over the edge of the can, you know. You can try to do the same thing with this and it works okay for the outer borders of the of the basket, but the inner border, which is just one piece of fabric material, there's nothing to hold the lining bag over. So basically the whole middle section is just like this saggy fabric mess, but that said, I like I'm not carrying these around or moving it or doing anything, so just to contain a bunch of dirty towels and sheets, it works fine. I like it. I don't have a problem with it. Um, but if you were really like using it in a more hardcore way, I don't know, maybe stuff would like slop between the two halves. I don't know. For me, it works fine and I like it. And it's like the perfect shape and size for where we need it, which is the main point. Okay, this is the five pack of women's workout gym shorts, casual lounge set, I don't know, from the Liberty Imports store, which I hadn't noticed before. Um, I am only sorry that I waited until basically the end of summer last year to get these because I was only able to wear them like one time, but they are perfect for going for walks, walk, working out, whatever. They're super, super lightweight. They have elastic waists, which I had said previously, I hate buttoning and zipping pants anymore. I pretty much only want to wear pants with elastic waist. And not only do they have big functional pockets, the pockets zip shut. So when I wear these to go for a walk and I want to carry my ID, my keys, my phone, uh, I don't have to carry any other additional bag. I can securely fit everything that I want to take with me in the pockets of these shorts. So very comfortable, very lightweight. I really recommend them. My one negative comment about these is um, you can see in the screenshot, it looks like they come in a range of colors from almost black through gray, light blue, dark blue. In reality, at least to me, they pretty much all look gray. There's like one pair that's maybe a little more blue, but other than that, they're all gray looking. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's fine with me because what do I wear, black and gray? But I was hoping for like a little bit more color variation and they really look much more similar in real life. Okay, now if you have been following my wavy hair journey, which I'm on today, 
um, you'll know that I like using microfiber towels to dry my hair and um, I actually I had a few that I have been using for years they're like a little bit small and so I wanted to get some larger ones that were maybe like more designed for hair I ended up getting this pack and I love these if if it weren't so wasteful feeling I would get rid of all my other microfiber towels and have just these whether I'm doing my hair wavy or straight that day um, because they are a wonderful size you you can see I have long hair and so they definitely fit all of my hair um, and the really nice thing is they have an a little a little elastic band and actually there's two there's one on each side so you don't have to worry about which direction you're wearing it no matter which way you put it on you will have the band in the right place and it allows you to kind of um, you know turban it up and tuck the um, end of it under the little elastic band it's so smart it's so smart that they put two of them on there. Um, honestly, I could you know, just sew an elastic band to some of my other microfiber towels that I already have, and it would probably make them that much more useful. Um, the material itself, it's not like the other microfiber that I have, it's almost like a plush, like a toy might be made out of. It's very good, soft texture, absorbent, um, but yeah, I mean the size and that smart little elastic band <laughs> make these my favorite towels. Okay, now here's a disappointing one. I think I had seen this in somebody's Amazon favorites list. Um, it's a portable charger. Um, I have plenty of power banks like these and you know I I always carry one with me when I'm out somewhere for a long period of time, like I'm somewhere for the day. This one is flatter and lighter weight. Um, I don't know if you know if you do the math on like volume, it might end up being the same size volume wise, but it's more like long and skinny and flat versus a lot of them are sort of like chunkier and thicker. Um, but it is thinner, it's lightweight, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know if I just got a bad one or what, but um, I've tried now several times. I've tried it with different devices and it just doesn't seem to charge them. Um, it also has like a flashlight um, component to it. You can push a button or something and use it as a flashlight. That doesn't really work. It's got a little digital display to show you the actual percentage of battery life left. That's not working. So I don't know, I think I do I, I must have it somewhere in my house, but I do not use it because it's just not working for me. Okay, also on the wavy hair journey. This is, if you're in the wavy hair community, you've heard of this. This is the Extava Black Orchid hair dryer diffuser attachment. It's humongous. It's got a great big bowl, so if you have a lot of hair, if you have long hair, um, this is a lot bigger and potentially easier to work with or faster to use than some of the smaller diffusers that usually like come with hair dryers by default. I know a lot of people who have um, like the Shark or the Dyson hair dryer and they have jerry-rigged this diffuser to be able to fit on those hair dryers. Now I will say I have a Conair hair dryer and it is listed as one of the models that work with this diffuser. However, when I got it, it did not fit on the diffuser. So what I ended up having to do was there's um, on the part of the open part of this diffuser that fits over the nozzle of your hair dryer, there is like an inner ring. You can remove that ring. It takes a little effort, but we pulled the ring out. For some people, that's all you'll need to do to get it to fit on your hair dryer. For me, taking out that ring made it go from being too small to fit to now being too large to fit. So then I did a little more research and what I found was if you take a big thick rubber band, like the kind that comes on produce sometimes, like a bunch of asparagus will come with a big wide rubber band, take that and put it on the nozzle of your hair dryer and then put this diffuser over it and that gives it just enough grip and thickness that it stays on no problem. So, and it doesn't, like it's not gonna melt. I was, <laughs> I was worried I was gonna start a fire with the rubber band, that's not gonna happen. Um, but I do, once I'm done using the hairdryer, I take everything apart and let it all, you know, cool off separately. Um, but I've never had a problem with it. I've, I've only even gone through a couple rubber bands. Um, so I just save them <laughs> when I get asparagus or something that has that on it. Um, but yeah, this is, if I do use a diffuser, this is the one I'm using and it's nice and big and really helps to, you know, get your hair drier quicker. Okay, so this is the Zorfin Fanny Pack. 
And this is one of the bags that comes up, uh, sometimes mentioned as a dupe for the um, Lululemon belt bag that everyone is currently obsessed with. Uh, so I have this one in black, obviously, and um, it is nice. It's very nice. It's very roomy. The zippers work great. There, I see now there's actually, it looks like more of like a black on black one. I have this gold zippered one that's highlighted here. So if I were to repurchase it, I might get an option that didn't have such bold gold zippers, if that was possible, but it comes in a gazillion colors. Um, one of the neat things is the belt definitely um, is very, it, it can adjust very large. Um, and you can maybe see in the screenshot, there's like an extra little clip that you can put the extra flap of belt material in if you you know have it adjusted to a smaller size but it definitely can fit a wide range of people you can wear it around your waist you could wear it cross body um i got this again like to take on walks to carry my couple things that i like taking with me if i don't have shorts <laughs> with usable pockets um it's really nice the one thing i'll complain about is the zippers clink and clank when you walk and you jingle the whole way so for that reason uh it is not my go-to bag for going on walks um if i wanted more of like a, a fashion belt bag or if i was going somewhere where i wasn't going to be like moving around so much it might be better it definitely has plenty of space for holding you know your wallet your phone your keys a bunch of other stuff probably um and it looks nice it's not a dupe for the lululemon one but it's you know similar in the idea um but it's just so clinky and clanky it's not my favorite belt bag okay so you might also recall last summer we got a kitten she actually was here when i started but she left um but one of the things that she started doing was chewing on all the cords that are next to my bed you know my lamp my alarm clock my phone charger so what i ended up getting was um actually probably the next item and then this so this is a, a cable management box so you put a plug strip inside it and then you know it kind of covers up all your cords and extra extra length of things so this is nice and it you know it matches with things in our bedroom the one thing is this looks like it's a, a wooden lid that sits on this box it is not it's like a plastic veneer lid and it doesn't even you know like fit on the I mean it fits but you have to get it just right otherwise there's no real lip or anything that holds the lid in place so it's kind of a pain if you want to be like opening it and closing it or um, if it gets jostled because it really just has to like sit exactly right on the box otherwise it's just a flat veneer thing that kind of flaps off of this box okay so actually the next item is another cat item uh, because around this time also our elderly cat was getting sick and I have to cut up uh, he gets three different pills a day and two of them are cut in halves so what I'll do is you know when I get a new month's worth of pills I just go through and cut the whole bottle in half and I had been using my own pill cutter that I've had for years and it was sort of starting to dull because it's a lot of pill cutting so I just ordered this one. It was cheap. It's easy to use. Um, I like that it has a little reservoir so you can cut a bunch and collect them and then dump them into a thing. Um, but even this one, like within a couple uses, <laughs> it already got pretty dull. So I am still using it, um, but it's, I mean, I, I don't know if there's like a super high quality pill cutter out there for cutting cat's pills up. Uh, if you have any pill cutter recommendations, please let me know. Um, but otherwise, I mean, this is fine, but I'll probably have to replace it again soon. And then here's the other piece of the kitten cord puzzle is just a very short uh, plug strip that I got to go in that cable management box. So it just has three actual plugs and then it has three USB outlets so I can use those for my phone charger. I don't need the whole, um, you know, like wall wart, like the the wall plug part of it. So I just have my lamp, my alarm clock, and my phone charger. And actually I have one additional charging cable that I usually keep wound up inside that box. But if I need to, I can pull it out and charge like my headphones or my Kindle or some other piece of technology by my bed. So this item I think was an Amazon treasure truck deal and I actually just heard that the treasure truck has been retired. So if you weren't familiar, it was basically just a daily deal that Amazon would offer. Um, they used to have an actual physical truck that would come around to different locations in your area and so you could like buy one and then 
uh, go go to the truck that day and pick it up. When the pandemic started, they stopped doing the truck and then it just became like a daily deal that they would ship to you. So this is one of those. And it's like a Gorilla Pod tripod. So I'm sure Gorilla Pod is an actual, you know, trademarked brand name, but it's that, you know, it's like the ball joints. And so they're really flexible. You could stick it around a pole or wrap it around something. So we actually used to have one between me and my husband, we would share it. And I think it broke or it got lost or something. So anyway, um, I ended up getting this one. It's a lot more big and sturdy and rugged than the one we used to have. It's a little too much for me and my little camera. I mean, I use it, but it's like a, a little much. Um, but if you had a larger camera, it would probably be perfect. Uh, one nice thing about it is it has a little level in the um, in the top of it, so you can make sure you, you know your camera is aligned correctly. Um, but yeah, for certain situations where you need to like get attached to something weird or get at a weird angle, um, this works great. I think it actually has broken. I think some of the balls have popped apart but I was able to just pop them back together. So um, so it is, you know, I will say it's pretty sturdy. I think this is a good brand Joby or Joby. So um, I don't know that I paid $45 for it and I definitely don't think I'd pay a hundred, which is what is in this screenshot. But um, if you see it on deal, maybe grab it. Okay, this was part of my effort to clean up my home office area. I have a ton of little things that are plugged in there, and they have to be. I have my laptop, my docking station, my monitor, uh, a charger. Um, actually, I have this whole little like USB hub that I charge a ton of stuff in, uh, two different lamps. I have a lot of stuff plugged in there. So my plan was to use some little uh, Velcro strips to just tie up some of those cables. This is a set of 60. I don't know that I will ever go through 60 of these in my life, but I definitely use them to organize all this stuff on my desk and I ended up using them, you know, many other places in our house. Um, I've given some away. Uh, they just, you know, they Velcro together so they basically just like sit in a block together. So I keep them in a drawer and when I need one, I sort of peel one off. So, I mean, you can't beat the price. Uh, it's definitely worth it if you need uh, a little cable management help. And I mean, these are small, they're six inches long, but if you really think about the length that you would need to like wind up some, you know, charger cables and stuff, um, unless you're really doing like heavy duty cords, uh, I think this is a fine length. So also on this cable management journey, I found these Rapid brand um, straps. So they're similar, you know, they're kind of Velcro and they, they stretch. And I got this set that comes in a number of different sizes. There's like larger ones and smaller ones. And they're fantastic. We, we do use these for like our big um, like outdoor extension cord. And um, my husband took some for some of his like guitar cables and things. Um, they're really fantastic. They are very heavy duty. They, because they stretch, you really don't need, I mean, they came in a variety of sizes and some of them are very large and you really, I can't even imagine a time that you would need some of those really large sizes, even for some of the bigger, heavier cables that we have um, because they're so stretchy. Um, and again, you know, the actual length that you need to go around a cord isn't that great. So um, yeah, they're really cool. If you have like some bigger or heavier cords that you need to bundle up or manage, um, I definitely recommend these. And there's probably a bunch of other uses for them too, to tie off different things. Um, but yeah, they're really, they're really cool and they were worth it. So here's another pet item. As I mentioned, you know, we have a, a kitten, an older cat, two middle-aged cats. We were having to feed all different kinds of food. And I think I only at last summer had one uh, like cat food can lid cover left. So I got a new set of two cat food can covers. These are nice because you can see um, there's like three different sizes of uh, cans that they can fit. So um, you know, you can put it on like the standard little flat cans, you can put it on like the really small cans. Um, they're a very nice soft silicone. I was a little worried reading some of the reviews because people said they were like too flimsy or too, I don't know, too easy to get on and off or too hard to get on and off, but they're perfect to me. Uh, my old one was like a little bit harder plastic and this one, again, it's very soft and flexible, but it definitely stays on securely on, I've used them on the larger cans or the smaller, um, you know, like fancy feast kind of cans. Um, 
and it's worked fine. Uh, I can put it in the dishwasher. I usually just wash it in the sink because I'll need it like <laughs> later that day. So I usually don't run them through the dishwasher, but I think you can. And um, yeah, I'll, I would recommend these. Okay, another accessory on my wavy hair journey. So um, I had heard of the brand Zazzy Bands through, I guess, one of my wavy hair groups, and I tried a couple of their styles. Zazzy Bands are like these squared off kind of headbands, and the way they advertise it is it's like if you pushed your um, glasses, like your sunglasses up on your head, you know, they would be kind of squared off. Um, that's how these fit. So. I push my sunglasses up on my head all the time and I've always had a problem with headbands either that they don't stay on or that they, you know, they hurt behind your ears. So with my hair being wavy, uh, you know, I wanted something to help maybe push it off of my face. So I tried a couple of these. So this one, the wrapped one, um, actually works really well. It's, the, the wrap is, I don't know, some kind of, it's not slippery. It's like a little bit of a texture and it gives it enough texture and grip that it stays up on my fine hair. Even when I have my hair wavy like this, it's still fine and things still slide out of it. So this one is good. I got this kind of cream color trying to match it with my hair color. None of their colors really match my hair color, it seems. Um, this one looked like it was the closest one available at the time and it doesn't really match. It's like, it's cream and my hair is not cream. Um, but so I will say it's comfortable, it works, it stays in for the day. That said, it's a squared off shape. And so when you wear it, like you have the like, corners sticking out of your head. And so it looks weird. I would wear it around the house. I don't know if I would wear this out just because it's kind of strange looking. Now the next item is just the clear plastic Zazzy bands. And I got it in the two sizes that they offer. I guess I should mention that previous one, the wrapped one, um, I got it in the original size. This was a set of original and slim sizes, just because again, like I wasn't sure what size I needed. The previous one, original size, that seems to be my size. Um, but these ones, because they're just plastic and there's no, there's nothing to grip with them, they just didn't stay in my hair at all. So I ended up returning these clear ones. Again, it's a cool idea, but it's like a, a weird shape on your head. So unless you have a ton of really curly hair that will sort of totally um, camouflage the fact that there is like square corners sticking off your hair, I just don't feel like it's something for me to wear out in public. <laughs> Okay, also for my hair, this is the Malibu Sea Hard Water Hair Treatment. These are amazing. Um, I am only sorry that the, it only seems to come in this format. So I definitely have hard water in my house. I didn't realize what a big like impact it had on my hair, I guess. Um, but I tried these treatments, so it just comes in these little packets, and I actually only use half a packet at a time, but you just kind of like use it in the shower, like mix with water and run it through your hair, and then you wash your hair like normal, and it makes such a huge difference in just like, my hair feels cleaner, it feels softer. Um, it's not something you use every day, and in fact, I use it maybe, I mean, this only comes in a pack of three of these, so this is, again, six uses worth for me. So maybe every few weeks. They do make a shampoo and a conditioner, and I haven't tried that yet because I like my shampoos and conditioners that I have, so I don't know if I wanted to like fully switch to that versus just doing an occasional treatment, but it is sort of inconvenient that it's like a packet and a powder and you know a whole extra step of your routine. But if you have hard water, I highly, highly, highly recommend trying these and seeing what a difference it might make in your hair. Okay, motion sensor light bulbs. Probably in my 2019 or 2020 uh, Amazon purchases, I talked about motion sensor light bulbs already because that's when we started using them. Uh, so for our front porch, I had wanted to actually have a motion sensor light installed, but um, we just didn't have the space. They're all, they're all take up a little bit more space than what we had available. So we kept our regular light fixture and I just put in a motion sensor light bulb and it was time to replace 
replaceable. So that's why I got <laughs> these new ones. Um, but they work great uh, if you if you have a space like that where you want something motion sensor but you can't switch out the actual fixture. Um, the the motion sensing bulbs are a really great alternative. They're also good to use like in a closet if you have a closet with a light inside and you just want you know when you open the door for the light to come on. That's a good option. Um, but yeah, we haven't had a problem with these and. Um, if anything, like it might be too sensitive, like I'm sure things, you know, leaves blowing in the yard, definitely on a windy night, uh, you can tell that light comes on and off a lot. But I know a lot of people in the neighborhood have motion sensor lights of various sorts. So um, they come on and off all the time. I think everyone's used to it. I just worry about annoying the neighbors with the light coming on and off, but I think everyone understands. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth it. So you just, you leave the light switched on all the time and then, um, you know, when it's dark and it senses motion, then the light bulb will turn on on its own. So it's a it's a cool, uh, cool option and it works great. So actually that was my very last item. Thank you so much for staying with me through all this. If you missed part one, there was a whole part one and then this was part two. And if you really like this, I had a 2019 uh, purchases revisited and I also had 2020 purchases revisited which was also split into two parts so um, again if you like hearing about people's Amazon reviews and um, want to know how they're keeping up with them years later uh, this is the series to watch so, <laughs> so thank you for following along with me hope you enjoyed subscribe if you like this give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time bye